up. <laughs> I swear I know geometry. Give me a you second. Keep the pile death balling moving forward. Do me a favor and just lose. Oh, I'm at the formation. <laughs> I'm hoping for a bit of revenge now. Welcome to today's Shelfside Plays, Knee Deep in Hexes. I'm Daniel of Shelfside, here to play against Gudo. I don't know, we keep pulling friends out of just thin air, apparently. Say hi, Gudo. Hi. To the camera. I, yeah, hi. Oh. Hi, <laughs> hi, viewers. Hi, YouTube. This guy's very cool. How to play. Knee Deep in Hexes is a tactical sci-fi war game. You and your opponent each have a base, along with vehicles and structures you can build. You win by either destroying your opponent's base or by having more of your opponent's stuff in the scrapyard. Pick a color, then pick two companions. Mash them together to make one deck. Okay, here's what you do on a turn. First, you get some resources, uh, then you draw a card, and then you do actions. The first two actions are building things with red materials. You can build vehicles or structures, though you do need certain vehicles to build structures. Next action is moving something. You can move as much as you want as long as you've got the blue energy to pay. Next up, you can play action cards. You can play as many of these as you want, as long as you meet the conditions. And for the last two actions, you can either draw a card by spending one material, the red thing, or you can recycle a card. You can cycle a card by paying a blue. War. Let's say there's an active war going on. Uh, well, then that means it's time for war. When you're fighting a war, you're trying to win by having more combat points. First, you can play a war card to get you a bonus. Both players reveal at the same time. Then add up all your combat power. Whoever has the most wins. The winner now gets to assign damage points equal to how many more combat points they had. So if you win by three points, you get to assign three damage to anything your opponent had in the war zone. If you destroy an opponent's vehicle or structure, it goes to the scrapyard and they cannot get it back. If you destroy an opponent's base, you win. Wait, where did that war zone marker even come from? Once you've resolved the active war zone, you can place a marker on the map. So there'll never be a turn one war. And that's it. Discard everything you didn't use and pass the turn to your opponent. Let's see who can kill their opponent's base first. I'm Udo. I went to high school with Ashton and Daniel. Hi guys, Mr. Shelfside here. Uh, so, Knee Deep in Hexes. It's like kind of StarCraft plus like card game uh, plus like... I am a avid lover of RTS games on PC. Still playing Age of Empires 2, uh, Supreme Commander. Uh, Daniel's played I think all of two games perhaps. He's already beaten me in our little sample game, so I'm hoping for a bit of revenge now. I don't know what's good, so I'll keep this. <laughs> okay. I take your first pathetic turn and your last pathetic move. I go up except for one less material. Okay, so you can spell the, the small guy, right? Mm. Who did I pick? I picked Lee Kratz, whose tanks have the build ability. Very fun. And Tula Vine, the orange trickster, where if you play no war card, you get one. I picked the guy that has extra movement, so it was like two movement thing, the blue thing, all right? And then I picked the other guy who's like, hey, my buildings can move one. So as long as I just like use my extra movement to just huddle all my crap together so it's very hard to blow up with this moving tanks that are building stuff, I think I'll be better off. Yeah, I just forget things constantly. Play him here. Is he doing? Okay, cool. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. He's moving. He's moving. All right, go ahead. All right, cool. Let's uh, get my... Th Actually, I draw first. What, what I draw? This might change my turn. Uh, no, it doesn't. All right, so then this goes there, and that goes there. So I have two of the red and three of the blue, and I forget their actual names. Let's spend both of the reds so and just go... Uh, da, ba, ba, ba. That's wasting moves. Hmm. Maybe we should uh, do something like that and then go... All right, because it's one, two, three, and then it goes... And then we're going to go one, two, three, and then this guy's going to go... Uh, one, two, three. Actually, wait, hold on. Wait. Yeah, 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 we'll leave that there. And next, we're going to get the move. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. All right, so this might be seen as a little bit wasteful, but I'm going to spawn another ACV, and I'm going to one, two, three. And then I'm going to use my other energy to just move them right there. That's what I did last time, so yeah. <laughs> I'm going to place my extractor and increase my capacity by two material and one energy. Mm-hmm. All righty. I do my draw, and what the hell? I'll read that later. All right, and then we uh, get this and that, and then uh, so 
move this dude up there and then we build the extractor so that we're in business. Uh, and then we move this up by two and this by one. Well, the way the map is in this game, like immediately to the left of your base is just a bunch of cool stuff to put an extractor right by. That's just like a thing that I feel like, yeah, not bad idea doing that. I mean, you could just run in and immediately do stuff, but then you're like kind of resource cap pretty hard. <laughs> what am I doing with my last thing? That is for later. Let's spend this last thing to build another small, stupid thing. Uh, that small, stupid thing has a family. I don't remember its name. <laughs> He's going there. All right. Yeah, you know, might as well spend the last two moving to go like, uh, yeah, let's go one, two, three, and this guy goes one, two, three. Let's just, just move him up there. Why not? Yeah. All right. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Draw. All right. And how do we deal with tanks that are being able to build stuff? I think is you just death ball. Keep the pile death balling moving forward. Because if you try to do any skirmish fights, you just lose against tank guys. Well, I think Daniel's strategy is to just go fucking kill him. And you know what, I can I can agree with that and I'm just gonna try to counter that as best as I can. I think, I think if I- Think, think, think. I dare say. What are your tanks? You're the tank guy. Well, yeah, get yeah I am the tank guy, yeah. but uh, no, I'm gonna still construct two more ACVs. What? This is heresy. Yeah, one. Two, and I'm gonna construct another extractor. <laughs> yep. Let's just start moving shit. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I still have a, a, one of those, so I'm gonna construct another extractor. And then we're gonna move this guy. One, two, three. There's a tank. I will draw. And then these go up. Uh, yeah, so let's just get another ATV out here to get some stuff going. Boom. And then we also build an extractor here because that's a great extractor spot. Uh, and then we're going to build another extractor because we're extremely greedy and just, you know, just do that. So this only moves this up by one, unfortunately. And spend, spend the last one to build another ATV. I just love ATVs. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And, uh, and then we're going to move some goons around. Let's, uh, how do we want to do this? This guy's going to go like one, two, three, and then we're going to make this guy go, I don't know, like over there. Uh, that's only two spots. I'm going to use this one. This guy goes one, two. And then what are we trying to build around here? Do, do, do. Let's get this guy in there. And the plan is I have a, a bunch of the little guys, the, the one cost three move dudes. It's like, okay, get in there, put down a factory, and put down a million turrets because my hand was nothing but stuff that just helped turrets. So I was like, all right, just get in front of his base, put in turrets. So I like the sound of that. Start off with some movement of one, two, three. Let's build another extractor, my final one for the game. Mm. You're announcing that very loudly, yes. <laughs> it's rather unfortunate, but uh, all right. I think now we proceed with the strategy of just go fucking kill him. Yeah, just put out the tanks. Pretty good strat. Yeah, so that's one, two. I would like a tank. Go, one, two, let's move them again, one, two. Let's get in there, okay. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna plop down a factory right there, which I can do because my tanks have the yes, build ability. And from the factory comes even more nonsense. Would it be funny to just declare a defensive war? Not Obviously, a bad idea. You have too much crap there to build with. They can go anywhere. Um, nah, you know what? It's about killing shit, so we're declaring a war here. What? Sort of a defensive war, if you, I if see. you will. I draw, and then I refresh my stuff. He's considering if he should just go in and wreck my shit on the war. No, 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 no. He's all right. <laughs> like this, this is really, like, when you have this much movement, like there's so many funny things you can do. I'm not even using my moving structures around. There's some funny things to be done with that. They can like build and then move the structure and then build again. Oh yeah, I've, <laughs> I've done that before. That's pretty goofy. Okay, I'm gonna let's just start doing stuff. So one, two, three, and then we go one, two, three, uh, and then uh, 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 I'm leaving everything vulnerable, but that's, that's probably fine. Maybe, I don't know, who else? Wait, hmm. you know, yeah, we're, we're being goofy. Okay, so we go uh, one, two, three, and then one, two. All right, because that needs to be I wanted to be a bit more aggressive in front of my own HQ to control the center. I've already done a poor job of that, so I'm pretty sure he's just gonna rush me down immediately. And just because that's the funniest spot to put it in. 
There uh, it is. And then we're, let's just get a, you know, a palooza because it's funny. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess we do it. It's the hardest thing to blow up, right? So, He's expended a lot of resources and dedicated a lot of material right in front of my HQ to land a killing blow. Having that palooza, like, it blocks me from being able to just construct a palooza there to be ready immediately in the war. So yeah, it's not fun to have a palooza up in your face. Yeah, we, we're just there to block the path and we'll let we'll, we'll, those can all die, I think that's fine. For now, we just should do the war, right? Okay, so I will play war card. So you currently have three versus my, what is this? The, I don't even count seven. Oh wait, this guy's in the wrong Your spot. Your Palooza's not in the war. I am really dumb. I don't know why I did that. All right, well. It's I, really annoying that you did that. I uh, actually didn't think this through. <laughs> All right, so this is a four. I have two of my own structures. All right, I have three. So then you actually do beat me in the war. So I beat you by two then? All right, because it's yeah. like four versus this. So I need to blow yeah. up something. I guess a tank? I mean, if I blow up the factory, then it's like you just build another factory and spawn more goons, which is... But if I don't do the factory, then you can just spawn stuff out of it anyways. So then I just do the factory. Whatever. All right. Yeah. I thought that having a tank right there available and an ACV, I thought that that would be enough to dissuade him from getting deeper into that war zone. And I was just completely wrong on that. That was a misplay on my part. I got in there, I was like, let's put a bunch of turrets down. But also, let's put down a base, which may not be necessary if I'm putting down turrets, but I did that so I can, one, put a palooza on his front door. It's very hard to deal with that. And two, because I needed to have two structures in uh, the war zone in order to play a card I had, so. You know, turret plus a base, pretty good. Oh, no, not a base, the factory. factory, yes. That gets discarded, and I decided to do a war zone for myself. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna not overthink it. We're just gonna go there, just fuck it, Ed, why not? All right. All right, and I have six cards now because I played that attack thing, so yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna go up to my capacity there. <sighs> <sighs> it instance like turn three or four, I was like, wait a minute, hmm, I have to think now. <laughs> Is it the opposite, get like. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Are you going in? Here we go. One, two. I am going to construct the in your face factory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, this is so funny. I love dumb stuff like this. That's so good. One, two, three. Two, three. One. You want to do three? Two. Don't two make more something like that? Or am I not seeing um, something? Hang on. <laughs> Oh, actually, he's gonna go there, so... He only moved one? <laughs> yeah, so he only moved one. Whoa, okay. Move this guy in one. I'm gonna spend two... Another tank. That's seven power. I am going to play my jamming transmitter to remove the enemy's war zone from the battlefield. What the heck? Get that shit out of there. Huh? Uh, and then I'm going to play Rebuild to replace one of your ACVs on the battlefield with a tank. The ACV goes back in your supply. So he's going back in my supply. Wow, that's eight power right there. And getting replaced with a tank. It's not looking good. We are declaring war. My God. You backdoor me, I backdoor you is only fair. That's yeah, very true. That, that card that uh, gets rid of your war zone. Whew! Matt, because I had... Huge tempo advantage because it's like, I put the war zone down first. It's like, ooh, that's gonna be hard to deal with. All right, go for it. Do some shenanigans or like, kill me. You know, well, I kind of need the war zone to be there. I thought I was just gonna hit your base and you're gonna defend it, but you, you just got rid of the war zone. So that's... I mean, yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't beat that. Dang, that's crazy. There goes my plan entirely. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, but don't I still just get that off? And then you removed it. I was like, oh, wait, oh, whoa. Okay, anyways. My turn. I draw, and then these go up. Cause yeah, my whole thing was predicated on that, so this might just make Guru win. That's not good. I'm dealing with 8v6, I guess, yeah. Maybe it says 4? Well, you have 2 combat power, but 6 yeah. uh, total strength. I'm just gonna assume this works out the way I think it will, so let's just be stupid about it. Alright, so, we're moving to factory, uh, and then we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna build 2 turrets. One turret? That's the only valid turret you got there. Yeah, I just realized. I forgot about buildings. Okay, we're gonna move the factory again. Uh, <laughs> and then we spend that, and I, I'll play a card that makes this valid. How about that? So there's an action card that I can place a turret. The next. improviser. Yeah, yeah. The, the improviser, yes. There you go. 
And then the rest of the energy has to go here now, because I, I, I need to make sure I don't lose this, and hopefully that there will win after I put my war zone down. That's the plan now. <laughs> okay, so that probably will win that fight. I don't see any of your vehicles, so I, I just dedicate everything over here now. So we build a a Lamau factory. Uh, and then we just we just need more stuff there, I guess. Actually, wait, it makes more sense to put the factory here, or wait, hold on. You place it wherever you want. There's a smarter way to do this. You're just give me, give me a second on it. it no, let's, let's not do that yet. Okay, so let's go back to three. So this is the dumbest use of this. I have to go spend two to move just two spots. What are you doing? And then the factory goes. Actually, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I swear I know geometry. Give me a you know second. Like Napoleon once said. It's for a stupid comment. I have to get in the dumbest formation. Just give me a second. I, 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 can, I can make this work, I think. Wait, no, there's a way simpler way. Okay, so the factory just goes there, doy. And I move the factory after I build. Actually, no way. I can just I build. I can move the factory right now, right? No, and build. Dude, moving my structures around is the funniest thing ever. Because you can like do things like I'm gonna put the factory down right there. Build, move it, build. Oh, I'm at the formation. God, that's so sick. Mm, love it. Okay, so I figured it out. All right, so with one, I build an ATV. ACV. The ACV. Then I use this to move the factory out of the way, and I build an. Actually, I'm out of ACVs. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do me a favor and just lose. Well, no way. I have enough movement for this. Hold on, right? Because we just go like this and put this guy there, and then we just spend the last two to go one, two, three, one, two. Okay, cool. That works. That works. Okay. Actually, I'm wasting one energy then. What the? What am I doing with that? There's a factory there. Oh, you know what? I can't build a turret, huh? Let's just not have this guy here. They can just build a turret, right? So like that. That way, that's more power. So move this guy back. Like so, we take back one. So he's just he's just here. Uh, and then for this, boom. All right, okay, we figured, actually, I'm out of turrets, too. Yes, there's three. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> okay, yes. well, I guess, I guess he's there. All okay. right, he's okay. there, sure. So, like, those guys, I can just plop down turrets, we're good to go. And then I was like, wait, I don't have any turrets. All right, All right. You, are you ready we're for fighting. war? Yes, we, we are fighting. I am going to use a war card. I will also use a war card. Okay, I think I can predict what yours is. Yeah, it's They're the it's, same, right? It's a try, yes, okay. okay. Cool, so, so I don't instantly lose, but you do win. So. I think I do Blow actually up. kill you. I think I still beat you by four. and just. Oh, right, it's by four. Oh, you're right. Oh, my God. Okay, so it didn't matter that the turret got wasted there. Okay, whoops. Okay, yeah, you win then. Whoops. <laughs> oh, my God. We rushed him down in response to getting rushed down. Put the meme on screen that's just like, I'm a genius, and then, oh no! That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> well, like the real trickster that I chose to play as, I pulled some bullshit out of my ass and won this game somehow off the back of a card that I got off a mulligan and thought was not actually going to be useful at all, and that turned out to be my saving grace. And also Daniel's inability to count the pieces available to him. I'm a brilliant, what is the word, tactician? Or no, strategist, not a good tactician. <laughs> <laughs>